Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 53. Uh, first round match, we've got a pouring rain to start us off. We have Harpic with Vampires versus Dwyver with Lizardmen. <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long, they're obviously Lizardmen. I was trying to look at the teams, honestly. Uh, he's got a babe, but no bench. Harpic has four bench. Harpic has a uh, glorious vampire there. Move seven, edge five. More movement vampires, but a disastrous lack of tackle. Uh, imagine living forever without a tackle. <laughs> And uh, meanwhile, it's a really nice Lizardman team, isn't it? A bunch of Guard Mighty Blows and this phenomenal one turn. Phenomenal one turning skin. But, you know, especially with uh, with Wamps, right? They could they could literally just gaze and try and hunt him down, even though they, they only have one tackle. Um, who was able to be stuck on a tail. There you go. Shit, I'll be right back. sure we didn't miss anything um, <laughs> it's an interesting question uh, there from Wolfram Ajax probably Lizardman uh, they're a bit like Dicey but uh, all right gears the uh, gears the crocs to get away get, to get the tackle away makes sense Really wants to try and hunt down this guy if possible. Sorry, in fact, old back, I'm bored. No, lizard, lizard men, probably. I mean, it depends what you mean, right? Like, what's an, what's, what's an average league? You know, like, what's an average league? Is a question itself, isn't it? Give it, what is it? What are we talking about? Ten games? Ah, black lizards. Or undead. My fucking ears killing again. It's like being killing for a whole fucking week now. I'm really pissed off with it. Like obviously worse lizard men coaches get their skinks exposed and everything and it's not as easy, but you know nothing's totally foolproof, is it? Mm. Having seven strong boys is pretty good. He didn't activate the crocs. What? He didn't turn over, did he? Just did he run out of time? That's pretty diabolical. Diabolic. Oh, did he? Did he activate and bonehead? But it's still got. It's still got the hypnotic gaze icon. So 
some pretty standard wamps, isn't it? They, they get up and they, they uh, score kind of as quick as they can. Just to make sure they get it done. I didn't mind keeping the blood stepper on him, honestly, because now he can blitz and base the ball, can't he? Which is... It's about the best thing that he can do. And he's not... Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're really... They're super strong. This is just super strong. Oh, the apple's gone already. Flip me. No. Oh, he's done goofed. He thought, oh, I'll just I'll just three D him and <laughs> He's been sidestepped, he's been bamboozled. Yeah, definitely want to come back to uh, hit him. Dice could even re-roll that, genuinely could even re-roll that. Like, that's so, that's such a key, such a key player. Oh, he's double wand! Oh, no. Well, could have done safe moves first, or just scored. But whatever his plan was there. Oh wow, has this got sidestep? No. Oh no. Oh what a disaster. <laughs> oh god, what a disaster. What an absolute disaster. Flip me. And obviously that was unlucky at 1 in 36, but like surely there was a way to have have done something else first. Oh you just think, you know screw it, I'll lose one in 36 times, but it probably wasn't worth, whatever the payoff was, probably wasn't worth the one in 36 to just almost guarantee to lose, right? That's the ting. Like, sometimes there are, like, you know, sometimes there are costs and stuff that you don't want to pay because, well, you only get punished one in 36 times. Like, sometimes that's just entirely right to do things. That will get punished one in 36 times. With the severity of that punish, <laughs> I think there was not the payoff to justify it. You know, if you're going to score, score. And if you're going to not score, then move the ball and some protection first. Easy to say now, of course. But I mean, it's a 1 in 36, right? Like, that's one of those where if it was a 1 in 12, 9, 6. You'd be like, well, fair enough, you don't think it's going to fail. But 1 in 36 has got a pretty good chance of failing. Wow, that's a big bang back, isn't it? Huge, Kaz. He can't up, he's already up, he's up this one. He's up this other, he's up this fellow block guard mighty blow Saurus. So, yeah, that's. It's pretty brutal dice for. Dwyver so far. But, you know, at least he got the, uh, at least he got the mistake slash bad dice to equalize it a bit. Oh god, I might not do many games tonight. This is this is rough going. Oof, needed a pal there. Oh man. Oh man. Had to get this in just for the follow. This was pretty important to I oh, didn't follow, okay. Well, can't he chain one pump the ball? Seems really nice. If he's gonna do it, which I mean he should he should do it. It's not hard. We should see a chained vampire onto the ball here. That doesn't look like he's doing it. No. 
So what he could have done is this guy could have gone here, this guy could have gone here, and then this guy blitzes the skink. Which um which pushes him in the source pushes him into there, then he can hit the ball. It was a pretty cool play. But I mean he's removed two sores, so he's still in a pretty strong spot. Even though even though his super vamp got served. <laughs> While I get him two assists, that's a nice little subtle use of hypno gaze. Didn't work, but it was a good idea. Yeah, maybe Steve, maybe I'll sort out all the stuff that I need to sort out for tomorrow um, as soon as I can. So I'm just ready to go and then uh, and then stream a bit until until I go. I should have streamed today, I should have streamed earlier. And plus I got to see, I got to see Nick and Elliot, which was glorious. Hmm, this is, uh, some might say, crap. Well, I guess the thing is, if you if you go to the back, then he'll just get that hit by the vampire. So I guess he's got to move at the front so the ball gets sacked. <laughs> he's literally better to get the ball sacked. Literally better to get the ball sacked than to get his natty hit. Probably it's probably not better to get the ball sacked. I guess you could argue it. No. If you're going to do that, you just do that first, right? And then if it works, you've got 3D on the ball. I guess he could have been a reaction for uh, picking it up, but probably always going to be the move 7 guy anyway. Oh my god. Mm, I think I would have fancied picking it up. Uh, I guess, you know, things can go wrong if you pick it up, I guess, in 3, three tackle zones is pretty good. Yeah, okay, it's pretty good to not pick it up. Happy with no pickup. The rain, I guess, puts it over the edge, right? Without the rain, I would have probably chanced the four plus pickup because it, it probably can't go that wrong. I guess the worst thing is it scatters to him, then goes out. But that now it's really hard to pick up, isn't it? With minus four, and there's no way you can free anybody up to do anything about it. So. Good decision not to attempt the pick up. Gets to surf the uh, skink this turn. Which is pretty nice, isn't it? Oh, well, not if he does that. Or that. Okay, he him anyway. I would have just pushed him and then pushed him and then pushed him. And... Oh, it's turn 8. I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have done that, it's turn 8. I would have obviously known what turn it was and not done that. <laughs> well, he could have tried to uh, chain this guy forward, right? Just get him in the scoring range. That might have been something he could have tried to have done. Now he's got to try and get it to a thrall. Oh man. Rolling all the dice. GFI here. Rolls a one. Oh, right, sorry, but he would bear, bear with me a second, please. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. And I will defend. Bear with me, bear I with me. I will defend. Bear with me. 
Ah! Ah! Hello, Jimmy! Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy. What the hell is that skink, mate? Jesus Christ. It's not a bad skink, is it? I don't know, it's knocked out, but bloody hell. Flip me, guys. Woo! Webs versus lizards. Mmm. Goliath 4, thank you very much. Staying fantastic for 43 glorious months. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How are you, Timmy? Yeah, alright, mate. Alright. You've been How watching you, a bit of the other Nick today. Oh, watch the uh, the mushrooms. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking <laughs> 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 mushrooms. <laughs> The Ooh. most cooked mushrooms in all of the planet. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> giant mushroom as well, wasn't it? It's a fucking big old mushroom. I, I bet they flew them in from Skiro's patch. <laughs> Skiro's mushroom patch. Uh, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, I'm not too bad. How are you, Jim? Not bad. Well, not too bad. My fucking ear's still killing me. So that's, that's fun. Oh, dear. Yeah, I hate it. Ears and teeth ache are just like the worst, aren't they? Mm. Yep. Yeah, it is awful. <coughs> yep, not fun. What have I missed? What have I missed? Is this the first game you've done? This is the first game, yep. Um, the vampires got the ball, they ran forward, and then they, they made a crucial 1 in 36, basically first action, double wand it, and then from that they got in a lot of trouble and ended up having a chance to score. They, they made a bunch of removals which helped them. Another Kaz. You may think that this is only one, but it's actually two. Because oh, uh, he's what? used his apple. So yeah, there's actually two Kaz here. I mean, how is he dealing with all that Kaz? <laughs> yeah. And the skinks, skinks off look filled his chaos. So this is oh, a very bare bones Lizardman oh. team now. This is looking very, very bad for Dwyver. Yeah, I'd be tempted just to bang it in if he can, because he's not going to pick it up, is he? If he can, yeah, it's good. I mean, it's real. I don't like having all these saurus there. Jesus Christ, mate! Like this. Yeah. I think he's saurus. I don't know, mate. I, I think he's in trouble, Aurus. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's up the creek without a paddle. Oh, <laughs> Look at that! Whee! Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll take it all back. That's exactly what he's doing. He's fully in control of the drive, and uh, he might as well just bang it into the scoring range now, and then just bang it in next turn. That's what I'd do. I, I mean, the problem is, the problem is the fucking vampires, right? Because how do you get past them? Well, that's what I mean. I, I think the, the skink has to be in range, uh, and he has to pray that Blodge does a thing. Maybe you have to oh, hand he's... it off to a skink. Maybe you have to like put a skink mm -hmm. in a cage. Like once that one skinks out of range, another skinks in a cage, and then you run forward and hand it off to him because. I mean that's yeah. I used to do the up, but like in the rain, mate, that's fucking disgusting. It's just awful. It is. I mean whatever whatever he did, barring what he has done, probably would have been better than <laughs> what he has done because he's basically done like nothing. <laughs> He could have randomly done anything. Uh, <laughs> it, it might have well, been better than that. Well, I mean, a it's random... hard, right? He's, he's down to nine players. Yeah, yeah mate. I'm just doing my head in, mate. I absolutely hate playing against them. Especially like a vamp team like this, where they're actually good and they can do stuff and they're all over you. Yeah, I think he after catching the ball, us. I think after catching the ball, you you don't like you don't screen right because you just you just keep them all over there and then keep them out of range the yeah. to, to move into. Hello, Skuro. I can understand it if you if you know to cover the pickup a bit. Oh I my think god. I would just be panicking, mate. Oh my god. Oh man. I mean, I'd be, I would, I'd panicking, just be panicking now. Yeah, I always panic when I play against vamps. Like, I mean, yeah, hold the ball back as long as you can, and then try and score. But I'd just be like, just bang it in and make them have the ball because I don't want the ball. Like, <laughs> I just don't want it, man. I just don't need it. I don't want it. That's not it's quite right, Skuro. It didn't get murdered by Satterfield yet. <laughs> oh, is he? Is he in London? Is he? Mm. London Tan. Satterfield. Well, they I bet they're having a big old dinner. Fucking hell! Can you imagine the dinner, Jim? Half <laughs> 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 a farm, mate. Half a farm. Well, not Skuro. Not Skuro. Oh no, no. Well, well, they grow vegetables on farms, Jim. <laughs> Skuro's Skuro's very svelte now. 
Oh, is he? Mm, very svelte. Is that svelte for an American or actually svelte? Actually pretty svelte. Oh, we've seen pictures of it. Yeah, and, and he can't really eat anymore, yeah. <laughs> well, he can't eat anymore, why? Yeah, he had the, uh, he had the, well, I mean, I don't know if, I don't know if I should. Oh, yeah, I get it. Yeah, I know what you mean already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, Maybe I should get one of those, fucking hell, wee. A lay off the old mango juice. <laughs> <laughs> fucking mango juice. Oh, he hasn't got him. He's got away with he it. He hasn't got him. Unbelievable. Maybe he should have run around with the other one to like it, isn't it? Maybe he should have been in range to score next turn. Who knows? Who's to mm. say if it was right or wrong? Well, he can get away now, can't he, a little bit? Can he? That vamp drops back and he's, yeah. Mind you, that vamp ain't got tackle, is he? Yeah, yeah. He's only got one tackle vamp, hasn't he? Yeah. A third of your former size. Flip me. My god, I hate vampires. <laughs> Look at that, I hate school Robin! <laughs> <laughs> I fucking oh, hate this guy, this sexy I'll, skinny I'll, bastard! <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll discord you tomorrow, Jim, mate. I'll discord you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, down, down one third. Well, that's still, that's still amazing, isn't it? Yeah, he's pretty screwed. Oh, full pal. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know where friend. he's going to go, though. Full potato, Jim, mate. He's so. going back. Oh, he's blocked his own square. Yeah, he's just going back. I thought it was a good chance to go through here, but the problem is the vamp can get you. I would have I I guess... Maris Piper that so hard. Well, I guess the, I don't know what that means. Um, Maris Piper? You don't know what Maris Piper is? No. How about, how about a King Edward? No. Oh, my God, Jim. They're types of potato. Oh, right, yeah, of course. Of course I knew that. Yeah, I mean, I should have worked it out, but I don't know any types of potato. You don't know what a Maris Piper is? No, about. I just buy, like, white potatoes. <laughs> yeah, they're the cheap ones. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not exactly a potato connoisseur. Yeah, Prince Albert, was... I'm not Prince Albert. <laughs> Shave your back. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, two guys, types of Prince Albert. <laughs> um, but yeah, so but the stun is amazing, I guess. So the stun lets him run back, and then yeah. next turn he, he can go over here and be away from the tackle, and then next turn he can get back. So yeah, I guess that the stun just kills it completely. Wish cheese Dakar, because it's got holes all over it, is that what you're saying? Ah, maybe. Man, man that guy's well funny. What's his name? Inflatable <laughs> back gammon board. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty fun name. Hilarious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was in chat the other day, wasn't he? Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad that I know that Idaho is a is a is a, is the potato center of America now. <laughs> it's, it's yeah, there's loads of farms in America to be fair, but like, mate, most of the farms in America they have to wear all those uh, like what they, what uh, is it Hayatsu suits? What's the uh, like nuclear war suits that they wear? Hazmat. Yeah, hazmat, that's it. They all have to wear them, innit? Because, uh, you know, McDonald's, like, potato farms and that, they're just like... Everybody from Idaho awful. are actually just potatoes that have adapted and mutated like and have just personalities. Have to, like, spray but the personality is mostly the of them like, just months. being a potato. Yeah. <laughs> it's a true story, mate. True story. Yep. I'm telling you. Well, so <laughs> I, <laughs> I thought he'd get away from the tackle, but instead he's gone directly into the path of the tackle. Um, well, it's all right, Jim. Like he's gonna fail those hypno gazes that make him just not even have to dodge. Yeah. Yeah, this is a bit. Uh, yeah, bit yeah, dodgy. He's, got a... he's, he's missing one vampire though, isn't he? Oh, he's done it that way. Why yeah, he does it that way? way, and then he gets a two D in with wrestle, oh. and then. Oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, really nice. Not not cancelling that is not so nice. No, that's that's a god. Taurus. <laughs> uh, why has he done it that way? Who's he going to recover the ball with? Uh, I guess nobody. Why didn't he just run that uh, this, thing this, round? This, this yeah, the around. dirty player should have tagged the skink and then he should have just blitzed and then he should have picked it up on that fan. Yeah. yeah. So he did one thing really nice and then he did fun one thing pretty funky. But he's still got tackle on the ball and vamps all around the ball, so it's it's mate, super interesting. Mate, this ball carrier just—he's not having it, mate. He's got like super glue hands, hasn't he? Yeah. 
It's just like, that's my ball. Yeah. And I am indestructible. Hello, PC. Yeah, Jersey Riles. I do know Jersey Riles, to be fair, when I was a child. Um, my parents would get Jersey Royals and they would say, oh, these are lovely. And I'd be like, bleh. <laughs> So you were uh, as positive as a child as you are as a grown-up, well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for calling me a grown-up. <laughs> well, well <laughs> jury's out. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, one in nine. The big old one in nine. Off he goes. Off he goes. Mm -hmm. And he's, because he's found the power against the uh, tackler, he is pretty much safe. Oh, I think that was the wrestler, wasn't it? No, the wrestler. That was the other wrestler was stunned. That was the DP, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. The wrestler's stunned, so yeah, this is pretty safe now. I mean, it's still rough because it's. Well, do you know what? You can actually stall out for a bit here. To be fair. Mm. To be fair. Maybe another turn. Depends how quick these ramps are to like. Oof. I pale. Yeah, he's got to re he's got to re-roll it. Even with two re-rolls, he has to re-roll it because he has to try and put pressure on it. Because he, you know, otherwise he's just going to lose, isn't he? Like a vampire is hard to deal with. To be fair, if he doesn't power him on the blitz, you know, he might have to bang it in. So, mate, these vampires are nuts, mate. Why do they always roll stats? I'm telling you, mate. It's like the uh, the bomber thrower, or whatever geezer, who always gets caught. They've, they've coded. They've coded. Vampire stats incorrectly, uh, <laughs> vampire levels incorrectly, so they always roll stats. Mm. I'm calling it now, mate. Super I'm, borrowing, I'm borrowing the noms hat, mate, and I'm going, <laughs> vampires roll too many stats. <laughs> the noms hat. <laughs> oh my god. The nom giving you a ring was incredible, wasn't it? Oh, mate, yeah. Can't <laughs> wait for the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't get the power. I mean, can he even try and stall here? Nah, it's just bang it in, mate. Forget that. He's I mean, the thing is, he hasn't, he hasn't got tackle, right? So, like, you could really push it. Yeah, he thought about it. He did think about it. We could see from the stop in the square. Yeah. I hope he took. I hope he took the whole two minutes fifty seconds to do so as well. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All those mental edges that you can get. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might have been right as well, because big difference between the two turn and the three turn in the rain as well, isn't it? Like, and they're pretty fast, these bands, and he's, he's lost two players. So Yeah. Pretty interesting. Super interesting. It's Kale on the third, would say. You basically want these vibes activated as much as possible. They're going to activate a lot more on... Offense, aren't they? Mm, I think he probably, probably should have stalled at that in one extra turn. You reckon? Oh yeah. Oh, did I? I think I think I would have bottled it, mate. I think I would have. I think I would have wanted to stall with it. I would have just got. Oh, I'm too scared. Because <laughs> it's too just scared. a big it's difference. It's just a. <laughs> it's just a big difference between the the two turn and the three turn, isn't it? Like I'm I'm back in the score now for sure. Yeah, but on the flip side, mate, like there is also the flip side that lizards could score as well. I know it doesn't matter because it's Chalice, but like one dodgy kickoff event. <laughs> mm. oh, he got a bit diced. I mean, he did a bit, but then you know he's he was in the situation because he got a bit. He, he, got he, he allowed dice, himself to be diced, didn't he? Yeah. Well, I mean, he had the good dice to get in that spot, right? He wouldn't have even. Oh wow, riot! There Look at that, the riot would have made this down to one turn, then he definitely wouldn't have scored. <laughs> well, if he'd stalled out, it wouldn't have been a riot, would it? Because it, it would have been a different set of dice. Oh, Jim, you know. Shut up, Dimmy. Come on, Jim, that's not how it works, bro. You can't, you, can't, you can't live your life like that, mate. You can't live your life like that, Jim. Like, yeah, I can, I just did. Nah, mate, yeah. no, it's, not it's not about that. Yeah, I can do whatever the fuck I want. Yeah. Where's the ball? Oh. It's back here. So, big movement guy's gonna get it? I think so, yeah. Or he's gonna bloodlust first? Is he gonna try and dodge him? through? No, I don't know what he's doing. He's just blocking with him. Oh, I don't know about this, Jim. I don't like this uh, going down the sideline here, because he's got not got the. Uh, he's only got one vampire who's not even in range. 
you going to potato with this guy? I can't do the fucking I'm going. I was more Aussie than anything. <laughs> with this guy? <laughs> this fucking oh, guy? Out, mate. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, has he got the ball? He's got the ball. He's got the ball. And he's got a Barbie. <laughs> is he is he in range to be pushed out of range? Or is he still in range? Ah, uh, he's still in range to move seven, isn't he? So he's well in range. Well in. I might have dodged this guy off in the end, like not blocked his path there, and then moved this guy somewhere. Oh, no, I don't know, it's probably good, isn't it? It's plus yeah, this good. is a terrifying screen for the vamps. It is, isn't it? It's actually, it's actually like, it was a good turn from the vamps in the end. Real, real good thing to get us through, and I guess this is a good reason why you don't want to give them a good chance. Because the skinks ain't gonna stop shit. Nah, mate. So what are we doing? Dodging out the vamp, hypnogaze in front of the skink, blitz in the super skink and scoring, I guess. Yeah. It sure, it sure seems the, a good play, doesn't it? You can even move the uh, thrall up to... Uh... He doesn't even care about the bloodlust either. Oh, yeah, he's gonna gaze him first. Him, yeah, yeah, yeah. Him, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or what? It's oh, a yeah, pain okay, in the yeah, arse. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a pain in the arse if he does something. Yep, got him. Here it goes. Oh, that's good. And he yeah. gets to 3D the skink as well. Oh my god, if he casts him. Why did he switch from that? Why does it matter? Yeah, it doesn't matter. How? Oh, oh my god, he cast him! <laughs> Oh my days. <laughs> I mean, Harping's had some really good dice, hasn't he? You know, he's had some. He's I'm not saying some... it's over, but... Yeah. Wow. Well, uh, to be fair to uh, the lizard coach, he did score without that super lad. Yeah. Was that just a badly hurt, was it? Or was it a proper, proper pal? Was it? <laughs> proper pal. So he uh, banged him into next week, is he? I don't know. Wow, huge look on the cards. Oh, and he wins the toss as well. Well, rip, rip, rip Dwyer. Um, badly hurt. Awful matchup for the Dizzies. Badly hurt and dead. Not Blood Bowl free. Very accurate team name. Yep, great, great team name. How many vamps has he got? Like, has he got any cats, or has he only got four? Um. Yeah, four. Oh. I mean, it's good for the TV, right? No, like literally zero attrition as well. Just yeah, unbelievable, Jeff. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? There's been some, there's been some key roll fails, but then also there's been just absolute brutal amount of cars. So it's a, it's a funny old game. Yeah, the vamps really suffered from all the casualties they took, right, Jim? No, the uh, the lizard uh, men uh, did. It's called banter, mate. Banter. It's called banter, is it? <laughs> is that what you call it? <laughs> no, banter! <laughs> banter! <laughs> Not a single thrall gone. Yeah, it's sad. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. It's uh, tough for him. Banter, oh man. Do you watch, do you watch any uh, Ted Lasso or Dimmy? No, I haven't seen any of it. Oh, it's a, it's a real good series, and uh, it's like a comedy show based upon some football. And it took them till the third season to have a football player based on Zlatan. And it's oh, really? Yeah, I know. I know what it is. Like, but I thought, what American football, isn't it? It's not... No, it's soccer. It's an American soccer. Oh. American football coach comes to England to coach a soccer team. Uh. I can't think, I don't remember any American coaches in the Premier League, to be honest. I no, know, I don't like, think there's a, any. There's a couple of goalkeepers, like Casey Keller. Yeah. Uh, uh, the other Everton goalkeeper, Howard, whatever his name is. Tim Howard. But I don't remember any managers. Bruce Arena, was he, was he in... Uh... 
What was his name? Dempsey. He was pretty good. He played for Fulham. Yeah, Clint. He, Clint yeah, wasn't he? He weren't bad. And, uh, oh no, Cahill's Australian. Isn't he? Yeah. Can't think of any of them Americans. Beasley? Oh no, I don't think he ever played in England. London Donovan was there, was the boy for a long time. Oh, he, he was alright as well. He was Everton, wasn't he? Was he? Donovan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you're under the age of 12. Well, mm. I mean, that's the future then, isn't it? Really? And, and, if you're a, and if you're a girl as well. Yeah. It's a lot more popular. American coach in the Prem this season. No idea, PC. No idea. No idea. Yeah. I haven't watched football for forever. Man, I looked at the table today and it's like crazy half the teams I wouldn't have thought were in, would be in the Premier League, you know? Cause like, yeah, like Crystal Palace. Yeah, I mean, they were they were in the Premier League. Crystal Palace were in the league. <laughs> I was joking, then... mate. That was a dig at all Palace fans because oh, I am. <laughs> but they were in the league, you know, and then like, and then they went down. But like, Reading are like six or something, aren't they? Like, I would, wouldn't even think they'd be in the fucking league, you know. Mate, I was so shocked when I found out Spurs were in the Premiership. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Leeds. Leeds were weird, right? Leeds went like went right down the dip, didn't they? They were, they well, were no, like, they in run, the Premier they, League. There was loads of dodgy stuff with Leeds, like they, they. Uh... Spent all their money, wouldn't it, when uh, they got in the Champions League that season? Mm, yeah, and they yeah, just bunked right. it all, and then they just flopped. Yeah, and they were outraged. They were right, went right down the leagues, didn't they? They were completely fucked. So I was, it was nice to see them back in the Premier League. <laughs> well, it's not. It's Pretty not Reading. Currently. It's somebody like yeah. Reading. Fuck's sake, PC. Oh, it might be Brighton. Brighton, Bournemouth. Yeah, Brighton. Brentford, Brighton about yeah. six or something. Brentford. Brentford or what? As if I care about which shitty team it is. Brighton, yeah. Brighton are seventh and Brentford are eighth. Like, that's wild. Them being seventh and eighth. Wrexham are non-league, aren't they? Yeah. They just, so. they just signed uh, the England goalkeeper. The old England goalkeeper. Uh, Ooh, Peter Shilton. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Nah, like he's actually 90 year old Peter Shilton. <laughs> he's like 42 years old, but uh, you wouldn't think it. I can't mm -hmm. remember what his name is. <laughs> Danny Rojas. Oh man, Danny Rojas is the best. How could you be excited about Zlatan if you already had Danny Rojas? Who's Danny Rojas? He's the star player of uh, Ted Lasso's uh, team, Richmond. Funny enough, there's a Rich Richmond right next to Darlow, but yeah, there's Richmond in. Uh, I've been in to London. Richmond. Which one? No idea. I was too young. I just know it was called Richmond. Was it up north or down south? I don't know, mate. I was really, really young. Mm. It was just called Richmond. <sighs> Football is life. Yeah, it's brilliant. Mm. <laughs> I'm an empty vessel filled with gold. Yeah, that's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because <laughs> <laughs> they've got Zava in 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 this season of of what's it called? Ted Lasso. They've got they've got a guy called Zava who is like Zlatan, basically. Like he just looks exactly like Zlatan. <laughs> they didn't even try to disguise it or anything. Oh, I don't like dodging there. Uh, you, so here, what I much prefer is just standing him up and then and then moving this guy in this spot. I guess the thing is, you think you've already yeah, he's, stage, he's, don't yeah, you? So he's doesn't he doesn't want him getting spanked in the face of my yeah, yeah, Fair enough. I don't know if the lizards are even going to try and suck this. Yeah, true. There's nothing yeah. to do with it. It's over. I was being overly critical. There. It's over. It's over. Say it's over. It's almost as over as uh, Elliot's mushrooms. Way. Well, hey. <laughs> Mate, the, the fucking the slices of that mushroom were just being so big as so, well. Like, <laughs> yeah, gigantic mushroom. They were like the size of burgers, mate. <laughs> Though to be fair, it was Elliot and Elliot's house, so maybe they were just normal-sized mushrooms. 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't think Elliot's that small, you know. I think, like, <laughs> mate, is, how funny is it? Oh, oh, no. How funny is it that Nick sitting down is like a giant, and then when he stands up, he's like a normal height? It's yeah. just the weirdest thing ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's got, like, Michael Phelps' body he must have, wasn't he? Have you seen he's Michael Phelps? Like, like, well, I... Well, not really. Like I haven't studied him. Like, you, you know. haven't studied Michael Phelps. Well, you should study. You should study Michael <laughs> Phelps. I know he's got Phelps. really long arms. I know he's got really yeah, long he's, arms. Yeah, he's got a ridiculously long body, and like he's got like a wingspan, isn't it? They're saying like that's yeah. the reason he's so good at swimming because yeah. like his wingspan is like longer than his height, which is abnormal, isn't it, or something? Yeah, and he's got he's got he's got really long arms. He's got really big feet, <laughs> and he's got a really long body. <laughs> yeah, and, it, and he's got gills. <laughs> <laughs> he's got gills. Yeah, the gills. The gills are the kicker. <laughs> He's the <like> Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, congratulations to Harpic and commiserations to Dwyver. Thank you very much, Dimmy G. Glorious to have you in the booth. Yeah, I enjoyed that. That was uh, exciting. Good. Thanks for watching. Marmalade. <laughs> hey, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs>